that'll do that. Today I've come with the Duke to one of our favourite gravel pit complexes and we're going to be fishing for pike, that's probably not a surprise. But the subject that we've chosen today is dead baiting. It's one of the most easy and effective ways to catch pike and pretty much everyone can do it. So how do you do it? Well there's one bloke I know who's probably got all the answers and that's Mick Brown. Do you know I suppose I have devoted my life to pike and pike fishing and people often come up to me and they say Brownie all you've done is go pike fishing you've never had a proper job like us well you know I can tell you you're absolutely right and I don't regret one minute of it If you've never tried pike fishing, you can take inspiration from our latest adventure in the world of gravel pit land. It's December, near to Christmas, and the weather's mild. The pike were feeding as you can see here, but they were no pussy cats to catch. The first pike of the day fell to the Duke's rod, and what a fine fish it was, vividly marked and bristling with indignation at being caught. The key to catching pike on weedy gravel pits like this is to present the bait above the weed, where the pike can see it. But fear not, though fishing in weed scares most people to death, not the Duke. Mick's special rig was to prove invaluable that day, but first it's over to the Duke to deal with the basics. This is a really nice combination that's on offer at the moment. It's a Shakespeare Sigma Rod and uh, Shakespeare Cipri Reel. And really, although it's fairly budget price, it's got everything that I would ask for for a pike rod and reel. First of all, it really cast baits out beautifully. The tip's not too soft. It's just right for propelling those dead baits out. But there's a lot of power down in the bottom end as well, if you should hook into a big fish. It's 12 foot long. Rods of 10 to 12 foot are, are the standard nowadays. I, I quite like for bank fishing a 12 foot rod. Now have a look at the reel. This is a free spool reel. And uh, it comes already loaded with 15 pound mono. And uh, the free spool's great because you can cast your rig out. And if you should turn away for a moment and not, and not see what's going on, the pike won't pull the rod in, it'll just operate the free spool mechanism. Following the Duke's early success, I was keen to have a go myself. Using an identical setup to the Duke, I caught two pike in quick succession. The successful bait on both occasions was half mackerel, popped up off the bottom. The first fish was a small pike, often referred to as a jack. It gobbled down a big half mackerel though without any hesitation. A beautiful fish with superb markings. I knew from the moment that I set the hooks that the second pike was a better fish. It just felt heavier, and so it proved to be. A very fine pike this one, again on the half mackerel, and this one was worthy of a comment from the Duke himself. Uh, it's a good thing to get the bait up above the weed when it's very dense like this. So that's worked, another nice fish. Mm. Turning into a good day, mate. Yeah. Sometimes strange things happen in fishing, and this occasion was no exception. The Duke noticed something unusual after he'd slipped the first fish back and he thought it was worth commenting on. Well, you might find this interesting. I'm wondering why this brand new float is letting in water. And I've just looked very closely and there's actually a puncture mark. It looks to me like a pike has actually grabbed the float on the surface and damaged it. And uh, that happens more than you think, actually. If you're observant and you watch your floats, you'll quite, quite a lot, you'll see pike attacking them. 
Well, I'm going to look at the float fish rig. And there's nothing simpler really than fishing a dead bait under a float. The most important thing is to work out the depth of the swim, and you can do that by plumbing or trial and error. And you control the depth by using the stop knot on the line. This slides up and down, you can adjust it to suit the depth of the swim. There's all sorts of stop knots you can use. Uh, nowadays, I prefer to make one out of power gum. Simple five turn grin or knot. And wet the line, slide it up and down, adjust it through the day. Sliding up to the stop knot is a bead. And that's important because the next component is your float. And you don't want the float to go over the stop knot. So, so that's the top end of the rig. Down at the business end, first thing we put on is a weight. And this is to hold the bait down, stop it drifting around. I prefer about 20 grams, but depending on conditions, you might have to go up to 30 or even 40 grams to stop the uh, undertow pulling the rig around. And then I'll just tie on a standard trace. Uh, you can either make it yourself or you can buy them. It's basically about 15 inches of 30 pound wire. Two, so I prefer two size four trebles. You, you might want to use size sixes, but nowadays I use fours. And that's all it is really, but I've made one important modification to this rig. Because we're fishing in weed, I've got to pop the bait up above the weed. So this is my simple adaption for popping the bait up. All it is is a sliding wire link with a clip and a balsa stick. And that balsa stick goes inside the bait. I'll show you in a minute how we do that. And basically, once that's inside, you cast out, the bait will rise from the bottom to the length of the trace, and the weight will hold it there in position in the weed, really tantalizing for any pike to come past and have it. So it's very simple, really. I've used these rigs, this sort of tackle, for most of my lifetime. And you don't have to make life complicated to catch pike. It, it can be as simple as what I've just shown you. We'd had a great day and we couldn't really ask for more but of course there was time for a little bit more and this time the chance fell to the Duke's rod rather fittingly. It was obvious from the word go that this was a decent fish but what we didn't realise is what an unusual pike it turned out to be. That just goes to show what you can catch on a simple dead bait rig. Nothing that anyone can do really. A bit of mackerel on two trebles. It's produced this magnificent looking pike. Look at that. I mean, that's a stunner, isn't it? Now, you know, all these pike, they've all got a bit of carry through. And this one's got a gammy eye. You'll know this one if you catch him again. That's lovely, just 17 pounds. <laughs> oh, that's, <enough. laughs> that's what we come out for, mate. 
Fantastic. Well done, mate. That's a Thank really you, interesting thing. Absolutely magnificent example of a pie.